I'm standing here in the hills outside Fairbanks. This is an area that's traditionally got radon gas problems. And so we're going to look at this job site and see what this contractor has done in terms of specific details for dealing with radon gas and installing a radon mitigation system. What we're looking at here is a large daylight basement foundation wall. I'd say there's approximately 80 lineal feet of concrete block wall, 10 feet tall. That's all inset into a hillside that's potentially in an area where you'll find radon gas. When we look at the soil strata here, you've got a layer of silt and then directly underneath we've got that fractured schist that in Fairbanks means you're in an area where you're likely to have a radon problem. In this case, this block wall has been waterproofed with a self-adhering rubberized foundation flashing. It's a great choice because not just from a waterproofing perspective, but from a radon gas perspective, it's an excellent barrier. It's got great long-term adhesion and flexibility. Any cracks in the mortar joints, any settling, anything that takes place over the life of the structure, the odds of this staying flexible and providing a good air seal are very, very good. You'll also notice the joints here are very tight. Everything's nice and flat, well adhered. This is what you'd want to see in terms of a professional installation on the outside. Since the stem wall and the footing are cast in separate steps, you've got a cold joint right here where the wall rests on the footing. This is a potential infiltration point for radon gas. So if you can carry this membrane down and over, you're sealing this one problem area. It's just one of many small details that you can incorporate into your air sealing, into your gas sealing, if you're aware of it during the time of construction. This is a super insulated foundation system, and it's kind of a trend we're seeing in Fairbanks as we're heading towards higher energy efficiency and with rising fuel costs, more insulation, especially under heated slabs, is making good sense. What it does for us, though, is two four-inch layers of foam board provides an opportunity to run radon tubing around the perimeter. This four-inch first layer is cut away just enough to run the piping all the way around. It creates an airspace here where we can put this pipe, then when the fan is pulling on it, we can depressurize all the way around the perimeter of this entire foundation system. When we look at this poly, this is our primary, primary pressure boundary. This is the place we want to devote our attention to air sealing around plumbing penetrations and so forth. Some holes in this poly will be unavoidable because you have to drive form stake in, like in this case, to support a block out. In the grand scheme of things, a few holes aren't going to matter because the depressurizing effect of this tubing around here, in theory, will be far greater than the incentive for soil gas to leak in through these holes. This house here has a stepped floor system and there's a bearing, a concrete bearing wall dividing the floor in half. Since the tubing couldn't be run through the floors, we've got two separate runs of tubing. There's a loop of tubing running around the perimeter of the upper floor and the same run of tubing running around the lower floor. The lower floor system meets at a collection point here. The upper floor meets here. The nice thing is the runs of tubing are divided roughly in half and then the radon pipe or the radon fan will connect to both pipes here in a riser. You're drawing roughly equally from both floor systems. The foundation work on this project has been mostly been completed. The outside foundation walls are waterproofed and insulated and the slabs been poured. The point I want to make here is your single best chance at dealing with radon issues is in new construction. If you can do a meticulous job with your ground vapor barrier, which also acts as your pressure boundary and your gas barrier against radon, and you can install your radon piping, you'll be money ahead and have a lot of peace of mind in the long run.